Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we will going to learn how loop works in Automation Anywhere. Now just drag drop loop here. To the right, if you see, there are two options. One is Iterator and one is While. Now let's explore this Iterator option. So for now, if you see, the in the times, the value is 10 by default. Let's see how it works. First, create a variable. When you click on this option, it automatically fill this name as a counter. Just click on the create and select. Now, what is this counter? So this counter will going to hold a value of this iteration. Now, if the iteration is done one time, the value of the counter will be one. If the iteration is done two times, the counter of the value will be two. So let me put the message box. and then let me give the counter variable and then to string as this is message box so I have to convert it to string now let me run it so this message box will show you how many times the loop will going to iterate 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and then it will exit from here now the iteration is done for 10 times now this times you can pass from the variable also the second option is something which is more important and most widely used let me drag drop the loop again here now inside this while if you see the condition here it is just similar to the if condition that we have saw in the last video now these options are a similar like a boolean data table option data date and time option dictionary and some more so let me choose one option now it is also having a window exist option now this loop will going to work till this window will not going to appear let's explore this option so for now what I'll do I'm going to utilize the same application let me open the application it is not open right now so I'll use this data tables now I'm, let me refresh this again so just remember you have to click on application then refresh and this local application is appearing here okay that's it now this loop will work it will check whether this window is exist or not if this window is not exist it will come out so let me put a message box here I'll write down window exist now you see for now this window is already appearing here now let me run the bot so for now it is showing window exist every time you see whenever I'm closing this message box it is showing window exist why because it is inside the loop and loop is continuously working now what i'll do i am going to close this window and then let me try it now you see the loop get ended so where we can utilize this option now if you remember when we have pagination in the table and we have previous and next button then we can use this option on a next button till that next button is appearing that means we have more pages to come but when that next button disappears that means we don't have any more pages to come and we don't need to extract any data from the particular page 
so there we can utilize this option and there are many places where we can use this option of window exist okay now if you have a list also if you have a list and you want to iterate that list then you can again you can pass your variable of list here and what is the type of list and then this loop will going to iterate on the basis of list let's say if there are five items in the list this will going to iterate five times okay so similar way if you use data table is empty just remember it this is not if condition but this is loop so it will going to be in loop till that condition will be false okay let's move to the next part let's build some use cases where we can learn some more examples thanks for watching my video have a great day